What's up, you guys, and welcome to a whole new episode of Tony Approved. I haven't been to the movies in over a year since the whole release of COVID, but I definitely had to make sure I jumped into a theater to go and see the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin's new movie, Respect, where she is portrayed by the beautiful and talented actress, Jennifer Hudson. There are several things about this movie that I really, truly enjoyed. I am a musical movie buff. I love movies that either tell a story about a fictitious, a fi uh, fictitious, a fictitious character on their journey to become a musical superstar star or when we're watching biopics on prominent artists that have made groundbreaking history in the music industry and they use the film to tell their story i mean i'll read it in the book but musical films is just great because you get to hear the music with it and really just get the whole complete visual. I think they did an excellent job with the casting of this film, especially because they chose real seasoned actresses and actors to play these characters in Aretha Franklin's life. Aretha Franklin is a major part of our musical history, so I thought it was really important for the people in her life and the people who had the greatest effect on her to be portrayed in the greatest way possible. To see Mary J. Blige in the movie, and I really loved that because that was kind of like musical royalty pain paying homage to musical royalty. I love seeing Sean Wayans play a serious character in this movie. I think Jennifer Hudson did an amazing job playing Aretha. My thing with Jennifer is I knew she's an amazing seasoned actress and I didn't doubt that she'll be able to pull this off. But I love the fact that I actually was watching this movie and forgot I was watching Jennifer Hudson. In fact, I didn't even see Nephi from Dreamgirls and not that I thought that she would bring the same character, but it's just those character roles are kind of similar as far as it being a musical role. Now, honestly, going to watch this movie, I didn't really know much about Aretha Franklin. Franklin as far as her personal story. I did, of course, know her music, but I didn't know much about her personal background. I knew she had an amazing effect on gospel music. And I love the fact that this film took an opportunity to really show the effect of church on the black family and the black struggles and the things that, you know, we go through. I myself was raised up in a family that was connected with church. And even to this day, we still have strong issues in our family that kind of come from that particular time period in our lives. And to see Aretha be able to spin that into gold was inspiring for me. It was just a reminder to me to know that everybody has struggles in their family, especially when they're come from a family that was raised in the church and everybody struggled with different people who were supposed to be these major leaders in the church when they actually showcase of their flaws because that's one thing that they're taught to hide is their flaws when being leaders. To see Aretha struggle with her church life is it was really great for me and it was almost in a way therapeutic. Aretha had such strength. She went through so much in her life and I know everybody goes through something but I've been personally going through a lot with myself and my emotional journey as I'm trying to heal from for some past traumas to see her struggle with her issues and her problems and to see her continue to move forward and make hit records and work through her issues go through her problems go through and face her pain and then go ahead and continue to keep moving forward it was just inspiring to me and it was just something that i really needed to see right now in my life as a reminder that you know life gets tough life gets hard but the struggle and the pain, you can literally use that as motivation and as a tool and as fuel and as fire to help you chase your dreams and become the best versions of yourself. There is such power in music and Aretha Franklin, you can see in this movie that she just laid the groundwork for all of my favorite artists, you know, especially because she has been doing this since the 60s, making sure that she's singing live, doing her own arrangements to her music, making sure her backgrounds are included and her backgrounds sound nice. I just love it. Music really has the power to save all of our lives if you really get a chance to connect to it. And if you're a strong, 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 strong music lover like myself, it just does wonders. And it was just amazing to see this in this film. It's just inspiring me to, you know, tap more into that artsy side of myself with creating music and writing and doing different things that I'm so excited to eventually bring to my channel. I love seeing her connection to the civil rights movement and just how she really was instrumental in being an activist and being a part of the people and really helping us move forward as a culture. Shoot, Aretha was out here inspiring the culture before the term culture was even coined. I think one of the biggest messages from this movie that I take away is just the power of love. At the end of the day, love will give you the strength to fight through all of your battles, to fight through all of your issues, and give you the strength to really stand up for yourself and demand no less than what you deserve. And that's important. I think sometimes as humans, we struggle with that because our society forces all of these different viewpoints and different ways of how we should behave and how we should act down our throat. And most of the time, it's not rooted in a way of standing up for yourself and knowing 
what it is that you believe in and fighting for yourself and your passions and your drive. And I feel like love is a strong key and a strong element to allow you to be able to do that. And that was one of the greatest things that I took away from this movie. I would definitely buy this movie. This movie would definitely be a part of my collection. I do plan on seeing it one more time just to kind of test that theory. But yeah, man, this was a great movie. What did you guys think about Respect? What was your favorite parts? What was your favorite takeaways? Go ahead and drop down in the comment section and let me know. Rest in peace to the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. And thank you for all of your incredible inspiration that this generation and further generations will continue to feel and be inspired by. Thank you guys so much for checking on this video make sure that you like and subscribe so you can stand in know of everything tony approved has coming at you and i'll be back soon with a whole new video god bless